Paul loves to recycle lives. On a typical Sunday, you'll find Tara in bright orange coveralls, collecting stuff most people throw away and turning trash into treasure. Tara got the idea for the Duh Recycling Ministry in the fall of 2007. Together with her husband, Mike, their three children, and a group of dedicated volunteers, she launched Duh in early 2008. To date, the ministry has processed 160,000 pounds of cans, bottles, and other recyclable material, which translates into $80,000. This money has been used to support 100 desperate, underprivileged, and hungry children in Africa. Tara shared that she didn't always serve God. Born in the Denver area, Tara was raised in a dysfunctional family. At age 16, she had an abortion and soon after felt God could not forgive her. Tara decided she had no hope for heaven. She joined the Navy at 19. She and her husband, Mike, hooked up and lived a worldly lifestyle, knowing in their hearts it was wrong. Daughter Shelby came along, then twin sons, Sean and Brett. One day, a Navy chaplain visited Tara and Mike and helped them see that there is nothing that God cannot forgive. And because of those words, the entire family was baptized together at a Rock Church baptism. At a service, Tara and Mike heard Pastor Miles preach about how God wants us to be willing to do something. Inspired, Tara went down the list of Rock Church Ministries, looking at how she could get involved. Unfortunately, due to her weight, which had reached 300 pounds, Tara was limited by how she would be able to serve. But God, being who he is, answered her prayers and intervened by arranging for surgery to help Tara get in control of her weight. In one year's time, Tara lost 120 pounds and was eager to do something. There's a running joke in Tara's family. It comes from when she and her husband Mike were first married, and she told him, I don't do trash. God laughed and put Tara, Mike, and the kids to work doing just that, recycling trash and giving hope to children in need. Congratulations, Tara Paul, rock hero for February 2010.